If you were to combine a Pink Floyd album cover, the 2001 Space Odyssey Stargate sequence, along with some dark progressive techno, then make a game out of it, you would pretty much have a basic description of what Thumper is. Though in many ways Thumper is a somewhat simplistic rhythm based reaction game, its execution and polish are what really make it stand out. The sound, graphics and animation all work together to deliver something that's really quite solid, fresh and uh, simply satisfying to play. In terms of VR support, everything works as it should and though the game might not have originally been designed for virtual reality, I certainly think it's probably the best way to play the game and certainly the best way to completely fry your brain. One of the really nice things of playing this in virtual reality though is that you get a really nice sense of some of the abstract shapes enveloping you as you tunnel on through the environments. The end of stage bosses in particular just look absolutely terrifying the further and further you progress. Surprisingly, despite the amount of movement that's occurring on the screen, it's not that bad for triggering the sense of motion sickness. Now this might be because you've got quite a large avatar in the middle of the screen that you're really focusing on, but also when I play the game I get this sense that the environment is coming towards me whilst I'm static, rather than feeling as if I'm being propelled through the game world. Taking the pickaxe out of my sack and trying to be critical about this game, I would say the only real downside of it is that I think the environments can look a little bit samey once you've played for a couple of hours or so, and it is very progressive and very slow in its development. In some ways I get that Commodore 64 game vibe where the next level is the next level because the background colour has changed, rather than there being a drastic change in the delivery of the art style. That said, things do build up and they do indeed change. Also, you're so focused on trying to hit the beat-based elements and just end up getting in this weird trance-like state playing this game that a lot of the time it doesn't really matter. In terms of player input and control, we were playing this using the Oculus Rift touch controllers. Obviously this game isn't a motion control based game, but you can quite easily just use the analog stick as well as the buttons on the touch controller. And the game also supports any gamepad you throw at it, as well as just a keyboard. So just about everybody is covered, regardless of what input device you happen to have. In terms of graphical performance and visuals, as you can see it is a very abstract game, but as a result of that, it doesn't seem to be particularly demanding, so people with slower systems that want to play VR games that look quite spectacular, this might be one to pick up. And who knows, maybe the developer will consider doing a version for something like the Gear VR, which I think this game would be really suited to. In terms of game length and replayability, the game doesn't have any multiplayer, but it does have a leaderboard system and it does have a fairly tight scoring mechanic, which encourages you to replay levels and try and improve on your own score. Personally though, playing this, I'd rather play it just to listen to the music and enjoy how things feel rather than be particularly competitive or even to beat my own score. And it's a kind of game that you'll load up because you just have a little urge to play some more Thumper. I think it's also the case that to actually get to the end of the game can be quite challenging as the difficulty gradually ramps up and it does take quite a bit of skill and technique not to repeatedly die on certain sections of the stages. And in terms of playtime for the single player, you're talking at least 5 plus hours from a completionist point of view. In conclusion, Thumper is one of those few games that manages to straddle art, gameplay and music and does it successfully. If you enjoyed this video review of Thumper, please click the like button. Click the subscribe button that's located on the screen, it's very shiny and very clickable. And then check out our other VR Bump videos, which we've also linked on the screen. It's, it's easy these days, you just have to move your mouse and click. I will see you in the next video that we do. Until then, thanks for watching everybody and goodbye.